uh, that's for sure. But I still have a little bit of speed. I maybe have a little bit more natural speed than your typical 1500 meter runner. Um, so I run the 1500, which is almost a mile, about 100 meters and a little bit uh, short of a mile. So yeah, I'm 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 right in uh, right in that sweet spot. And my coach is um, I'm racing at 3k in a week. So I'm slowly moving my way up. Uh, the 1500 is going to be my event, but really in the 15, it's so much aerobic, so much endurance, not as much speed. So you really need to work on that 3K, 5K shape and paces to uh, get, you know, my ultimate goal is to win the Paralympic uh, gold medal in 2021 and set a world record. And so that's just the way I'm, I'm going after it. And, you know, I'm someone who likes to say my goal, but almost I say it to forget it, to be to be fully honest with you. Uh, I really like to be, be present, focus on the actual day because at the end of the day, if you stress about the, your angle, then you're never going to get there because then you won't actually pay attention to the finer or little details that actually need to get you there. Just when you're saying like 1500 meters, I'm like, after one lap, I'm tired. Like, I just don't want to run anymore. And then I see your post and you're showing like how much you've run. I'm like, I'm just tired just looking at it. Like I am, I've never been a person that likes running. Even like when school, like they made you run a mile. I'm like, can I skip this? Can, can we go do something else? I'm like, can we play an activity? But I think it's something that challenges you as a person. I mean, definitely for me, it's like, I always try to find, like we mentioned earlier, prove people wrong. And I think having that identity where I can't do something, I'm going to go do it. So you never know. You might see me running 1,500 meters soon. I doubt it, but awesome. it's too cold right now. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. I love it. I think one thing that is interesting about why I love running so much is because everyone thinks that's like this physical challenge, but it's honestly a more of a mental challenge for me. It's Because your brain gets to a point where it tells you to stop. And you have to override and say, no, I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep on going. And so that's one thing that I've just grown to really love because the brain is so fascinating. Obviously, as someone who has a hole in their head, I always concern, was concerned about my intellectual part, um, you know, how, how will I be when I get older? And so uh, I like to stay mentally sharp. And that's, that's one thing that running really has done for me. And uh, I'm just so lucky. And there's also a mindfulness part of running as well. It's uh, relax fast running is the fastest running that you'll ever do. If you're tense, uh, you're just simply not going to run fast. And so that's something that unfortunately took me about 23 years to learn. Uh, my new coach, Heather Henninger, who I've been under for about two years, a little bit over two years. Uh, she was the world championship finalist and went to the world championships. And so, yeah, that's something that she's really taught me. And it's just funny how different coaches along the way, teach you such different things. They're all tools in your toolkit, but, uh, and you pull them at different times, but yeah, she's been super in influential in getting me from a good runner to really being on that world stage and being able to compete and uh, doing what I uh, want to do. So what was next after growing up? Did you go to college? Were you able to pursue something or was track and field just that thing that you're focused on? Yeah, so I graduated from South Alabama University in 2017. I went to Furman University in Greenville, South Carolina, ran two years there. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, I, I was looking for different opportunities that the coaching staff just couldn't give me at that time. And I, I was just wanting, yeah, just more opportunities to race. And so I decided to go to South Alabama. But honestly, I, I'm so thankful for the coaches there, they 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 allowed me to really prosper when I was there, and I it's probably some of my best running I've done in a long time until last year. Um, I, I was really successful there, and then I went to South Alabama, got my degree in communications. I love to obviously in your intro, I love to public speak, and honestly, I just love to learn. I just love to have like really good conversations, and so I've always been super interested in entrepreneurship and just business. My stepdad, who's probably one of my biggest mentors uh, not probably he is my biggest mentor beside my mom and he's always been a businessman and um, so I just recently started my own clothing line gray wolf men 
mentality and that's something that I'm so green with. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm learning all the things about Shopify and Instagram. And as you've seen, I'm really, I'm really active on social media. And so that's something that I'm also really learning because I love, I love Gary V as many people do. Uh, and I'm, I really follow his content and try to actually listen to, to what he says. And so, yeah, it's been, been an interesting journey. I'm not someone who more shares my more intimate thoughts and uh, things to my mentality and things like that, but become a lot more open with that. And um, I'm really an open book. Just a lot of people hadn't asked until recently. And so that's something that uh, I've been quite, quite busy doing.